Hello and welcome to another YouTube video. YouTube! Welcome to another booktube video from me, Lauren, from Lauren and the Books. And today is day one of the week of Harry Potter videos. I'll be doing a Harry Potter video Monday to Friday this week in honour of it being 20 years today since Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone came out, which is super duper exciting. Tonight is also Harry Potter Cozy Reading Night um, and I am vlogging today. Actually, God, this is out of my arm already. I'm stood up. I don't normally stand up. It's very unusual for me. I'm gonna lean like this. Um, and today is Harry Potter Cozy Reading Night, so I'm gonna be setting up the flat today. So I'm vlogging that, and that video will be up later on this week of me sort of like behind the scenes setting up. But today I thought I would do my, another shelf on my bookshelf tour. This is my Harry Potter shelf. Now I do also have a few Harry Potter items up there. So we'll start up there. So up here we've got, oh, if I can reach high. This is Harry Potter Trivial Pursuit, which I got for my birthday one year from a dear friend. I just can't, I just can't get comfy. From a dear friend of mine, um, Lynn. So let's see. It includes questions such as thus. Who is asked to identify Harry at Malfoy Manor when the Snatchers catch him? It's Malfoy, I think. Draco Malfoy. What subject does Professor Trelawney teach? Divination. Divination. Who casts Fiendfire? Fiendfire. God, why can't I say that? Maybe I don't even like Harry Potter at all. It's a lie I do. In the Room of Requirement. It's Crab or Goyle, but I don't know which one. I'm going to go Goyle. It was Goyle! I won't bore you with all of those, but there's just some questions. So that's Harry Potter Trivial Pursuit. Then also up there is this box is um, a box that David's editions of Harry Potter, um, the Harry Potter editions, which you are going to see shortly, um, came in and I just really, really love the box. So I keep that up there. That's my board. That's just got some pegs in it. So now onto the actual Harry Potter shelf. So if we start down this end, I've got two candles here um, from William and Joseph. I will link their um, website down below. Um, they sent me a few Harry Potter related candles, which are amazing. Um, Amortentia, which is the love potion one. I mentioned this in my um, Harry Potter... I just can't help but smell them in my Harry Potter, um, ha Harry Potter Cozy Reading Night TBR. Um, Amortentia is the love potion that smells different to each person. Um, it smells of the person that they love. I made a right old hash of that when I was trying to um, explain it earlier. And then I've also got another one, which is Wizard's Beer, um, also by William and Joseph. This is in a little box. Let's get that out. <laughs> and this looks like this. And this is really like pumpkin meat. It's like borderline Christmas. Um, it is really, really lovely. And yeah, that's very nice too. So I'm gonna be lighting those tonight on Harry Potter Cozy Reading Night. So let's put those away now. Live putting away. Then behind that, and I'm not gonna get these all out. Um, just, oh no, I will get them out because that's the bloody point, isn't it? Um, and then I've also got, I'll get the things off and then we can reveal the books. I've also got this platform nine and three quarters Hogwarts Express chocolate that um, Books Are My Bag kindly sent me for Independent Book Week. I haven't read this, I haven't eaten this yet, read it. <laughs> I haven't read it either. Um, but I promised David that he could eat this tonight, so he's gonna be eating that tonight. I've also got this mug that they kindly sent me. Now, this is a colour change in mug. Um, I did a colour change, I, I showed what it was like like on my Instagram post um, but you'll probably see it tonight me drinking out of it but this is um, colour changes and it has Gryffindor flag on you can almost see the Gryffindor shield underneath it it's amazing it's really bright red underneath it's a lovely little thing so on to the book so this is what it looks like here I am hiya um, we'll start here so this is the Harry Potter Oh, it's all falling down. This is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, the 20th anniversary edition. This is the Gryffindor edition. Um, they, they've done a whole range of these. I'm sure you've seen them. Um, and the spines are matching the house colours as well. So I've got the Gryffindor one. They're so cool because what I didn't realise... Let me... How can I do this? How can I do this? How? What I didn't realise, I've moved my chair out of the way, is that it's got loads of information, like it's got like maps and stuff at the beginning and information um, about your house. So dependent on what house you get, depends on the information you get. So I've got lots of information about Gryffindor House there, which was a complete treat. So that, I've also got here, these. now a lot of these things are David's. So this here, let's move that out of the way. Oh God, I feel seasick. This is uh, The Case of Beasts. Explore the film wizardry of Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Um, this was David's. He got this for... Let's go and sit down over here. This is 
This is an in-depth one, isn't it? Um, he got this for Christmas um, off of his mum. If I just um, show you, so this is what the end papers look. It's like a, um, it is like Newt's um, briefcase. So that's like, you can see the little niffler hand there. Um, and this opens up. And then these are what the end papers look like, which are just gorgeous. And then it's all stuff for the film um, with like additional things like this and this. And it's just amazing. This is actually what David's going to be reading on Harry Potter Cozy Reading Night tonight, but I'm going to get a good look at that as well. Um, he really loved the film. We both really loved the film. So this is a complete treat for him to be reading. Put that there. Then I've got these editions that, as I said, they are David's. These are the Harry Potter, like, I don't know the actual term for them. They're designed by Web and Web Design. Um, I don't know the actual term for them, but they look like this. So this is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone with this chess piece on the front. Then Chamber of Secrets with the snake basilisk on the front. Then Prisoner of Azkaban with a white stag on the front. They've all got the Harry Potter squiggle. This is the one that I'm reading at the moment. Uh, Goblet of Fire with the dark mark on the front. Order of the Phoenix with... What do I think that is? Oh, <laughs> I fell down. I think that's the pensieve? No. Oh, it's the orb! Christ, it's the orb. Yeah, of course it is. Uh, then, <laughs> I bet everyone's going, it's the orb! Um, and then I've got Half Blood Prince with the cliff face on the front with Dumbledore and Harry on it. This is one of my favourite ones. It's really, really pretty. Look, I like the simpleness of these designs. A lot of people don't like these ones, but I quite like them. And then Deathly Hallows with the graveyard and the grave of Ignat Ignatius Peveril on there. So yeah. And then the last thing I've got on there is my Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone illustrated edition. Um which is very exciting. So that is my Harry Potter shelf. Um, I do I do own um, all the sort of um, older editions, like the original ones, um, but, oh God, I can't get my angle. <laughs> um, I do own all the um, original editions, but they're sort of like spread everywhere. I've got like some at my parents' place, some at my parents' place in France. Um, a few of them are in storage, um, just because this was a nice set to have out on display. But they are my favourites, the older ones. Um, let me know what editions of Harry Potter you've got. Let me know what Harry Potter books you've got. And I hope you've enjoyed day one of Harry Potter videos and also Harry Potter shelf tour. Look at the state of it there. Now I've got to go and tidy all that up. Typical. Um, and I'll see you all again soon for another booktube video. Bye! Oh! Wait. Just a reminder, it is Harry Potter Cozy Reading Night tonight. And if you're joining in, that'll be absolutely wonderful. It's running between 7 pm and 10 pm British summertime. And we're going to be reading Harry Potter and getting really comfy. And I'm about to crack on with the food making side of life. That's what I'm going to do. Bye!